What's going on everybody, Boss Phoenix here, and today, as promised, I got a special little peripheral that has been sent to me from Toby Technology. This is a Toby Eye Tracker, and I really suck at this live action stuff, so I'm used to just editing video game footage. You guys will have to cut me some slack on this, but I'm going to do the best I can. I'm not an unboxing channel, but I did want to show you guys this. Uh, they sent me this for free because they saw my For Honor content. And this technology, I guess, is actually going to be implemented into For Honor here soon. So I just got the package this morning. This thing came all the way from Sweden. I had to tear off all the shipping labels because I don't want you freaking weirdos finding out where I live. And that would just be bad. So this is the Toby Eye Tracker 4C. This is the newest model. They just sent this over actually really excited about it i've been watching a bunch of videos on it and apparently it just tracks your eye movement kind of like you would like you would move your head in vr to move the camera and stuff and it works differently for different games i'm going to try and get some i've got some of the games that this works with and i'm going to try and show you some footage from one of them at least today so anyway let's open this thing i think the box is pretty cool but i don't know how to open it, it looks like it just slides out like this oh hold on i need a knife Always have a knife with packages, apparently. All right, here we go. And apparently this thing just like, it, it attaches to the bottom of your monitor and then tracks your eye movements like that. Kind of like a cell phone, like cell phones have this technology. Ooh, that is really sleek. Look at that, I can't get this box open. And I suck at this. I'll never be an unboxing channel. I'll never be able to do it like unbox therapy. He is the cool music and the angles and the, the camera quality. And I suck. All right, so that's that. How does this come out? Man, I am 100% fully un incompetent. Now, the one thing I was wondering is how does it attach to my monitor? That's actually really nice packaging. So it's got a fairly long USB cable. And then two, they sent me what looks like an extension. So this is an extender, which is what I'm gonna need because I have a stand-up desk. And uh, sometimes I need the cable to be longer than, than what I got. So it's got the USB extension cable. Very nice. Thank you guys if you're watching this. I appreciate you sending me that because I definitely need it. Because this will not reach. It's only like a couple feet. But there it is. That's sleek as hell. I think that looks really cool. So now I'm just trying to figure out how it attaches to your monitor. We can figure that out real quick. Okay, so... It's got sticky strips, looks like these. Oh, they're magnetic. So you put, so it's a sticky magnet. You put the sticky magnet on your, on your monitor, on the bottom of it. And then on the back of it, it's got these little, oh, sorry, hang on. On the back of it, it's got these little magnets right here. And those stick onto the bottom. So that's pretty freaking cool. The only problem is if I get a new monitor, do I have to get new strips? Because I think that might be a problem. So I'm gonna get this thing installed and then we're gonna play a game with it. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back real quick. There's something I wanted to show you guys real fast. I was gonna play a game and everything, but I got to setting this up and I gotta say the setup was amazing. The only thing that I don't like is the extender. The USB extender doesn't seem to work. It kind of was being wonky, so I just plugged it in normally. Luckily, I have enough cord to make it work. Uh, but anyway, this menu is freaking awesome. So if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but everywhere that I look, like the change button there, or the mouse, or the touchpad, or the power, they all light up when you look at them. So like the change button, I wasn't even clicking on that. But it lights up when you look at it. So it knows like what I'm looking at. It's so weird. And then it's got this feature, which uh, it's got a bunch of features for non-gaming stuff too, which is really freaking cool. I thought I wasn't expecting any of that. I didn't even know any of that worked like that. But uh, so like, it's got the warp mouse on move. Like if you're looking at a certain spot in your screen, you just move your mouse a little bit and it moves right to it. So like there's the on and there it goes. Touchpad, the change down at the bottom. So you just move your mouse a little bit and it instantly jumps to wherever you're looking at. And it takes a little bit to get used to, but I think if you play with this enough, I think you would be like, it would be weird to use a computer without it. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off right now because it's kind of weird, but it does have like this little setup game that I wanna show you guys real quick. So let's check out the games and experiences. 
Uh, I think it, I think it was the Toby eye tracking intro that it had me do. So this was really cool. Let's check this out. It's like a little spaceship kind of thing, and you look around and shoot asteroids and shit. So uh, this is what it did to have me like it had like a whole calibration set up and everything. It was this is a very very sophisticated piece of technology, like way more than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a super gimmicky thing, but the more that I use this, uh, the more I really like it. So I'm just looking around right now. Um, and then there's the exit. So I just look and you have infinite screen. So you just look around at these asteroids and you shoot them. Uh, there's one over there. Like, it's so rapid and so smooth, it's ridiculous. But yeah, so I'm gonna actually, I've got an actual game loaded on. Uh, it's called Aragami, we're gonna check that out. And uh, as soon as I can, this is really addicting. I don't know why I'm so addicted to this right now. It's so much fun! I don't think I'll ever use my computer the same way again. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna jump into a game. I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we're back. So this is Aragami. It's a little ninja game. It's I covered it a really long time ago, but it's one of the ones that was quickest for me to download, and I know that it works with this software. Uh, it works for a bunch of other games, and for Honor support is coming here real soon. It's not out yet, but I'll keep you guys updated as soon as that comes out, because I'd really like to see how they add this into For Honor and how it'll work. But for now, uh, there's a bunch of different games, like the Assassin's Creed games work with it. Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, I think, The Division. So there's a bunch of big titles out, and then the new Assassin's Creed Origins is going to have support for it as well. So anyway, um, let's jump in. I'm just going to try to find... Uh... Yeah, all right, that, that works. Let's go for it. So you can see the gaze tracker on the screen. You guys can see what I'm, what I'm looking at. And you can see when I read. It's so weird because you can see how fast somebody reads with this thing. It's so goofy. But uh, I think it's really cool. We'll see how it, it, it works in-game. But you guys can see all the different stuff. Man, this feels so invasive. It's so weird. It's such a strange experience. Uh, it's just so goofy because it's like, oh, you guys know that I'm staring at that thing. Oh, boy. Uh, the frame rate, though. So you use it to look around. So I'm not sure if this is the game. That is running this poorly. I think it's running really bad because I have to use... Uh, a, I'm using display capture instead of game capture. That's probably what's going on. I think the tracker shows up. No, it doesn't. I don't know how to get that to show up. Let's see. Better. All right, so I'm getting 30 frames a second right now. That's a pretty heavy hit on performance, especially for a game that looks like this. So it could be because I'm using OBS, and OBS is kind of a shitty program. But uh, so you get like the infinite screen, and you get to look around. That's really cool. I don't remember how to play this game at all. Crouch, so guard over there. So I can target him and throw a shuriken at him and rip. Oh, I can't throw. Oh, yeah, I can't throw the rock. All right, cool. So, and then I can choose all my different uh, powers and stuff here that I don't know how to use because I haven't played this game forever. So you just look to the edge of the screen and it'll keep moving the camera and you can change how responsive that is. So that's pretty neat. I mean, that's that's super freaking cool. And then you still, of course, you have your mouse and everything like that too. You can still move your mouse. You don't have to just use the, the eye tracker. But the cool thing is, is so you can keep your mouse in one direction. So you can keep your reticle in one direction, like the in-game reticle, and you can look somewhere else at the other stuff that's going on. I know Dying Light was a really cool game, but that was going to take me too long to download to do this video. Dying Light uses this game in really, or the, uh, the software in really, really cool ways. So, yeah, I mean, it seems like a really robust piece of software. I mean, you can use it without games. It has some utilities to use on your actual computer, and I think that's really freaking cool. Like, I'm really excited to see how this is going to play out and uh, like what they're going to do, like the support for this in the future and how it's going to apply to For Honor because I'm, I'm really, really kind of, you know, interested to see how they're going to make that work. But this is going to take some getting used to, like this whole thing, like looking around and changing my camera. But I'm sure that once you do get used to it, it'll be pretty invaluable to use. Uh, I'm really, 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 really excited. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for that, I guess. Thanks for checking this video out. If you guys like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. I got some really cool content coming uh, later this week. Man, that is so distracting seeing that. But uh, 
Anyway, I'm gonna play around with this some more and get used to it and see if there's anything other like cool games. If you guys want to see any of the other games on that list, let me know in the comments and if I got them, I'll try to make a video with it and we can see how it works. But I think this would be really cool for like a really cool tool for streamers, people that are on you know uh, Twitch and stuff like that, and maybe for some YouTube videos. I know there's some League of Legends players that use this technology. There's a different eye stream or eye eye tracker thing, but. Again, this is the Toby Eye Tracker. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And I really appreciate you guys for watching. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like to show your support. And I will see you guys at the next one. Thank you so much.